Sunday afternoon at Ralph Engelstead Arena. North Dakota fell to Minnesota State 2-1 in women's WCHA hockey. With Scott Koberinski, I'm Dan Hammer. This is your UNDSports.com post-game wrap. Cobra, the story of this game, Minnesota State goaltender Danielle Butters. And boy, oh boy, did she have a great game. She stopped 41 stops tonight, and, and early in this first period, she made a lot of key quality stops. The thing I really like, she didn't give a lot of second opportunities. Butters uh, on the weekend with 85 saves. Got to believe that she's going to be the WCHA Defensive Player of the Week. North Dakota took a 1-0 lead to the third period, but Minnesota State goes on the power play, and they tie it up. Captain Carrie Lundberg makes it 1-1. What a nice play as a cross-ice pass. She hits the open netter. And here we see the eventual game winner as McCann takes that puck to the, uh, and Jermaine standing all alone in there for the rebound. And it's a 2-1 win for Mankato State. Nicole Germain is red hot. She's on a six-game point streak, four goals and four assists in the last eight games, as this is a very tough loss for North Dakota in the national picture. They entered today tied for seventh in the pairwise rankings. And for the first time since January of 2007, North Dakota is swept by Minnesota State. 41 shots on North Dakota, but just the one past Minnesota State goaltender Danielle Butters. North Dakota was 0 for 2 on the power play. So North Dakota now 17, 9 and 4 and bound for Ohio State next weekend. The final two games of the regular season, crucial games for North Dakota. And that's going to be no easy task as well. And they're going to have to go in there, play a little bit better hockey, play a full 60 minutes if they're going to want to come out there with some wins. They played a great 40. They got to fin find out a way to, to finish the game off and get 60 minutes and uh, hopefully they can come out of there with two wins. Minnesota State defeats UND 2-1 on Sunday afternoon. That's your UNDSports.com post-game wrap.